Campo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and... This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. It turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. All right, let's try to look around and keep moving forward. <laughs> Plus, there's probably a whole bunch of hidden goodies around here, so you want to grab Looks these. Looks good. Can't walk back there. So I think that's the, yeah, that's the entrance to Savarok's lair. What a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this! Open Sesame! Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. What about these clues of yours, Sampo? Hmm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Vosforog's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Huh, so what is the test? Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Infernal construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? 
Sampo Gasky always knows that. Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Um... Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's just say Dr. Dig. Incorrect answer. Certification result, failure. All right. Uh, you know, friends, if you don't know the answer, you don't have to pretend you do. No one's gonna laugh at you. Reassessing. Subject threat index, high. Initializing combat module. Oh, come threat on. elimination activated. Uh, combat module? This thing's faulty, right? <sighs> Wishful thinking. It's about to attack. Dang it. Watch Where this awesome move! Guy, Rules are made to be broken. Phew, that was scary. It just suddenly attacked. Hmm. This button says system reset. Let's give it a try. System reset. Successful. Certification sequence. Online. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Oh, okay. Wait, don't we need the green certification marks? Or does it not matter what color it is? Yeah, it says that we need the green ones. We got a red one. Maybe because we decided to battle instead of... Huh. Looks good. It might have been because we chose to fight them instead of actually trying to get the answer correct. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. Ha! <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all... You know, Missy... Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, oh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? I believe he said it was the operating brake module, was it not? 
is either operating brake module or heat sink substrate. Let's go with brake module. Wrong! Congratulations! Simple question. Terrible answer. It's back to school for you. Uh, can I smash this can opener already? Ha! You wanna go? You caught me in a bad mood. Let's do this. If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Suits me! Fighting is me- This sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Just a scratch. Here. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Wait, have mercy. I'm sorry. One certification coming right up. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Please extend your right hand. It's like, March, put your hand out again. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Ah, uh, ow. There you are. Only one more to go. Now, please leave me in peace. Alright, time to get the last one. I believe we saw it earlier. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. I have no interest. <laughs> you! Watch this awesome move! <laughs> oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! <sighs> Try that again! How to behave now? Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? Ah, ah, ah! How come it hurt even more than the other two? <sighs> At least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Alright, so now that we have the green one, we can go ahead and unlock the gate. There we go. Open Sesame! See? Not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. 
Dude, did anyone hear what I just said? All right. Let's go see where Sarara is at. Oh wait, what is this? Lift control panel. Is there stuff down there? Not authorized to use the lift. Okay. A gate? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. <sighs> this isn't the first time. Same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Who's a good boy? Here's our certification. We just want to see your master. Good plan! Treat the robots like guard dogs! How is that gonna improve our chances? Certification failure! Subject has yet to obtain access permissions! Request rejected! Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? I guess she's a part of Sarvarog's family. Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? <sighs> We were just there. <sighs> Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. Anyways, we should go and find Clara. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Oh, wait, isn't this the robot that she had before? Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must. Protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target. Must be in. Wait, 
Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Alright, to the workshop we go. Oh. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara! We have to save her! Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Move carefully. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Here! Yes! Who invited you? <laughs> You can't run! I have no interest in cut. My turn! <laughs> you! Let's make it quick. Huh. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Rules are made to be broken. Ordained by the sun stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. No manners, huh? huh? You can't run. <laughs> Running into me! <laughs> Here! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Yeah! Who invited you? <laughs> no, don't! Try that again! Told you I could fight! Scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Speaking of Svarag, we were just about to pay him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Svarag doesn't like talking to others. Especially wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarag and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, 
You said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarak thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? We have to see him, whatever the cost. I'm sorry. I really can't help you with this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we can't even persuade Clara, then what hope do we have of getting any further here? <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. I guess we need him to recognize our value into his little equation. Hmm. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. 